So guys, believe it or not, this has been long overdue. It's not one of those interesting pieces of tech, but really very useful, especially if you run a desktop system like myself, not a laptop. If you do laptops, then you're safe. But if you have a desktop system for gaming, productivity, whatever else you might be using it for, you actually do need a UPS, an interruptible power supply. Uninterruptible, uninterrupted, I'm not sure. UPS. And so really I've decided to actually make a video about this because I'm excited to finally have this in here. So many times I've tried to edit a video and in the process of editing, you know, this is Kenya, the third world, and it's the rainy season somehow out here. And blackouts are rampant. They happen every day, every now and then. And every time I try to edit a video on my machine, suddenly there's no power and I lose my progress. It gets me so mad. <laughs> And so what do we have here? This is a unit by APC. APC is a brand from Schneider Electric, or so it says somewhere in the US. APC comes quite highly recommended. You know, there's so many brands in the market from China, from elsewhere. Some of them, the quality is ish-ish, but APC is what you want to go for. Over here on the box, you can see there's a bunch of specs, 1000 VA, that is 600 watts, and that's the capacity of the battery inside the UPS. You want to get a capacity of at least 1000 VA and up, especially if you're using a mid-range PC like myself. It will give you some 5 to 10 minutes of runtime or so that you could use to save your work before your computer shuts down. We also have some more specs printed here on the box, four outlets, there's AVR technology that is automatic voltage regulation. The surge protection, like, you know, lightning, all these huge surges of power that can happen. This will protect your equipment. They're also talking about 65 minutes runtime over here, but <laughs> that's just marketing. But unless you're going to plug in like a network switch or something that only draws like 10 watts. But a system like mine in the heat of video editing probably draws up to 200 watts. Who knows? That won't last more than five minutes on this thing, but I'm sure it would be good enough for me to at least have my work hand. It's easy to use, as they say. So now, guys, let's get into the box and see what is happening. So yeah, first in the box, you get this power cable, UK style. That's very nice for us. Get this plastic off and uh, yeah. Then we get some paperwork. This is a user manual, as you can see, a lot of information, but I have a lot to read. The war in Ukraine, orthopedic surgery, and so much else. I don't think I'll get around to reading all this stuff. This is safety information. You can always keep this thing somewhere in case you want to refer to them at some point. And uh, here we go. This is the unit in all its glory. Please come out. I think we better just grab it this way. And... Uh, the box can always go to the side. And the unit is right over here. I kind of like the looks on it. I prefer the form factor that we get with this APC Easy UPS unit than the rest of the UPSs we have on the market. This just looks like a power strip. You just plug in your existing plugs over here. Four of them. All of these have battery backup and they are side protected. Very simple to use unlike the rest that we have on the market that have some strange type of connection somewhere on the side here. But this unit basically just has the power in over here. And the rest of your stuff goes over here. Then right over here is the power button. I don't know how much battery capacity we have in over here, but we will still plug it in. Then something else before we forget, as you can see on the back here, there's this thing called a battery connector. What we need to do, I think, is just slide this out. Then slide it into this slot. And that will kind of like get the battery connected. So it comes sort of with the battery disconnected, but once you do that, you have your battery connected. This is on the bottom surface of the unit. And as you can see, this is designed with some slots here in case you want to like hang it on some screw or something. So now let's get hooked up to the UPS. <laughs> so this is the behind the scenes. This is what you guys never see. This is all the mess I have behind here. I don't struggle to do a lot of cable management. Why? Because uh, why should I? So I think the UPS will stay just right here. Looks like that's a very steady place to get it. Quite close to my wall power and uh, just here. So I guess first what we need to do is to use this cable to hook it up to the wall. We'll have to get this out. Get that in. Now, as you can see, I had that power strip down there from where another power strip gets connected via this cord. 
But then the best practice would be to now connect the electronics directly to the UPS. So now let's migrate all the plugs from somewhere here to right there. So there we have it guys again ignore the mess of cables around i think i should do something about it but we now have all our equipment hooked up to the ups the two black plugs are for the monitor and the pc then the two white plugs are just some power strips which i use to connect chargers for phones uh, batteries and so on and as you can see the long black cable goes from the wall to the ups and that's basically all we needed to get some sort of power that can run us for a few minutes to save our work and this is basically also insurance for equipment the surges and other power issues can easily damage the computer. So all we need to do now is to just get the whole place cleared up. And there you have it guys, the unit is fully functional. As you can see, we have the green light and turning on the PC. Yeah, good to go. And the monitor is also good to go. There we are, Auras by Gigabyte. So this unit basically acts as a power strip, but when we have some loss of power because of one reason or another, it would supply us with some juice for around 5-10 minutes, which is awesome. So now everything, including my quick and simple cable management is done. And for just about 10,000 Kenyan shillings, maybe 70, 80 US dollars, you get yourself a UPS. I can't emphasize this too much if you do a desktop computer. I know in all those build guides we've done, including on this channel, I've made a video about how I built my own PC. But we often skip over what you guys actually do need quite a bit and that's a UPS. So if you'd like to get yourself one of these units, there's links down in the description below. Thank you guys for using them. And I have just unleashed channel memberships. So apart from subscribing and hitting that notification bell and liking this video and even leaving a comment down below, there's also the option to support this channel by joining my memberships program. You pay about $2.50, that's like 300 shillings a month. But again, that's just if you'd like to. So yeah, as always, see you in the next one. No pressure.